Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dice the milk up like regularly while I talk about anything I may feel. Sketchbook tours and you know just general internet topics that I find interesting. So you know what this means today. I am going to be doing a tour of my 13th sketchbook Yay! Um, I thought this, I was gonna have this finished like two months ago, but you know, life happens, art school happens, but we're here now. I also didn't intend to wear the same shirt that I did filming the last video, but it's close to laundry day, so woo! <laughs> but anyways, um, we're gonna get right into this video. Um, I would say grab your sketchbook, maybe work on a project, grab a drink, or some food. This is my rice. It smells like bro broccoli and cheddar. But we're going to jump into this video. Okay, so I transitioned over here. Um, yeah, it's different from my normal setup, so it will take some time to get used to me doing my sketchbook tours through this. Let's say it took about maybe a quarter of the time that it normally would for me to like poise my phone and then like get everything right, but we're gonna see how this works. But y'all get to see my lovely desk in the background. Um, there's the pickle jar from Aldi that I have yet to return because, um, as you know with yours truly, I forgot to. And now I just have a jar of pickles on my desk. But en enjoy the background that helps to expand the artistic experience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it adds an ambiance of a desk compared previously blank desks that I've used before. But anyways, let's jump into the sketchbook. Okay, so as you guys know, this is sketchbook number 13, and this sketchbook has been through hell and back. I'm just gonna like give a little, little context before I dive into it, but a lot of this content, it's gonna be mainly surrounding summer camp, um, me working as a camp counselor, my experience is there, and there's a lot of art notes and shit from people from camp. Um, sadly, I'm not able to share the whole sketchbook, and I can't give context to everything, because um, it was a fun summer, but there are some things that I'm not yet ready to talk about that I will eventually discuss. You know, it's not it's nothing bad it's just personal very personal because um this summer a lot of change happened for me both good and bad but hey i survived i'm here right now and it was a fucking coming of age summer so i hope it's properly reflected through my sketchbook which we will find out soon but i just wanted to give y'all some more context because this is an extremely sentimental sketchbook and I'm excited to be documenting the parts of it that I can before I send it back home and it remains home until, I don't know, until I move out or something like that. But, okay, so for context for the cover, this is actually from, I believe, I have a bunch of Smithsonian's in my basement back at home that I got from a dump store. And so I cut out this ad. I forget what, it was like a kind of phone ad for something like Verizon, but I really liked the graphic and the sky was the limit and just, you know, like general 80s colors. You can see the fading behind it from me using as a sketchbook cover, but I just thought, that it fit well, you know, and it matched with the background of the Canson sketchbook. But, you know, I just, I felt it, so I was like, it has to be my sketchbook cover. You know, that's the general, like, general course of action, man. Okay, so here is the inside of the sketchbook. Um, let's see. 
here are my overall goals, you know. Ooh, we did get to 200 subs, so thank you for that again. But it's just a lot of stuff. Um, I would like to say I did more of this, but again, it was a pretty weird summer and I was working a lot of it, so I was pretty tired. I didn't have a lot of space and time to draw, but when I show you guys my recent art that I've been making at art school, that will be exciting. I don't know. I think I might, oh my God, preview for the future, but I think I might do like a little semester review or something like that because there are so many interesting art pieces and I know a lot of people see my sketchbook videos and I just sit there and I'm like, why are you seeing this art from a year ago? Like, why are you seeing all this stuff that I don't want a lot of people to see? Like, I feel, I feel very honored. Like, thank you. And thank you for like complimenting my stuff. But I swear guys, I do better art. I've improved. I don't have any art on me right now, but I would show you guys. I know it's like I'm constantly referring to this thing that I never show. But I swear, like, when I'm able to do this review and compile all of the artwork that I've done, th there is some good shit. There is some good experimental shit in there. But I have to be patient. Y'all have to be patient. We'll get it eventually. But for now, we're, we're, we're going to get this art, which is... It's, it's sentimental. But eh, eh, sometimes it's something. Eh, it's something. But anyways, um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put the ending subscriber amount, which I think it's funny. I'm almost uh, around that similar mark right now. I think I'm at 238 right now. So, you know, time goes on. But so I actually initially started this sketchbook when I went to Brimfield. So... There was just a lot of stuff that I made then. So when I glance at this first page, it brings me back to that era. I'm like, oh my God, it's Brimfield. It's like staying up and just drawing Eddie Munson by myself. Like, oh my God, look at all this shit. But yeah, so with the first page, we have to start it with Eddie Munson, of course. And um, for context, that is the singular pr prisma color that I just like to use for a while. It was showcased a lot in my last sketchbook, but I got it from that estate sale that I went to. And so I was so excited to be like, oh my God, I have a Prismacolor. Like, look at this. It's a Prismacolor, which I do need to invest in some more Prismacolors. I like, I don't even know what happened to that one I had, but I, I need to get more. I want to like experiment more with color and colored pencils that don't kill my mind and soul but yeah there you guys go eddie munson okay so on the next page you can see i'm like oh my god brimfield and I, I, again i'm so excited about that i'm st i'm excited to go to brimfield again like so many things planned for the future that i am excited to unveil it just takes time Okay, um, I just had a brief intermission because my roommate walked in. Woo! Yeah, this is this is what happens when you live in a dorm. But anyways, so now I have the rest of the time to myself so I can get everything started. But <laughs> sketchbook tours, am I right? So I, I was joking with my roommate and she was like, how long do you need um to film this and i was like oh you can watch a movie <laughs> as y'all know they are long as fuck but that's also because i like to share a lot of details and i think they're fun as fuck to record but oh yeah and also if you see the kiss marks on my hands oh they're they're more so washed off on this hand but it's from an art project that i'm working on it's for um, my research class, and on Monday, I'm gonna be presenting it, but it's, it's a garment, and this is a part of a makeup look. So, let's get into the sketchbook, again. 
since we were already into it. But that is my friend Laddie right there. He shows up in my sketchbook a lot. I love him so much. And that was re uh, just a really good reference photo of, of him. So I was like, oh my God, I want to draw Laddie. So Laddie, yay! And then we have Eddie Munson. And then this is just some posing for a thing I might do in the future. Don't want to talk about that too much. But we have Bowie, as per usual. Like, it's fucking David Bowie, guys. It's fucking David Bowie. Oh, why? Camera likes to adjust. But oh, I love him. But I was going through, like, a little art block. So I um, was kind of drawing him, kind of not. You know, a little, little off and on. But oh, I love David Bowie. I love David Bowie, but, oh, y'all had no idea that I love David Bowie. No one could ever tell that. But, um, I believe that is from the movie. <sighs> I just had it on the tip of my tongue. What's it called? What's it called? <sighs> Man Who Fell to Earth. Damn. See? I'm tired from a long week. Actually, um, a little little sidebar thing. I just had my um, midterm today, so I'm a little... Ugh. And I just spent a shit ton of time editing an essay that you think that I would be able to do in, like, maybe 30 minutes. But it's for art history, and it's the first time I've written an analysis essay so yay analyzing art woo but so this is a commission that i actually did for my aunt i like how it turned out it was really good and it's the first commission that i ever did which is exciting and so i like um oops i hit the thing but i went to try to expand more into jacket customization and figure out cool ways to like modify and draw on jean jackets or any other kind of jacket and kind of like replicate it and create these unique art pieces that people can wear like that's something that I'm starting to gain interest in again but so I have this is the back design and this is the front I wish I had a photo of the actual jacket but I don't, I don't know where that went. I need to take professional photos of it too. So I can like properly show my the products that I've made. But look in the future, I might be doing more modification stuff and showing off my process, maybe. But I might be selling some jeans and jackets in the near future, the next, the next year. It's a, it's a work in progress thing that I have going on, which is very exciting. But yeah, so I found a little, little niche that I like to do and work in. Okay. So we have the Beatles, which I was drawing them and then I got really annoyed with my art style. So then I just stopped and you can tell that I was really frustrated with this page. And I especially think when I look back in my art and sketchbooks, I can tell when I had art block and when I didn't like to do a specific thing. I also got really like annoyed with my pages easily and I would give up on them pretty soon, which I can't say I've grown too much with that now, but you can see a lot of frustration in some parts of the sketchbook and it's a little it's a little hard for me to see but if i'm right i believe that's george harrison and that's paul mccartney i don't know who that is supposed to be but that is a face it is a face indeed oh wait i almost didn't talk about this page but so this was me playing around with some ink Oh, I absolutely love using ink like this. Even though at the time I wasn't super excited about these faces, I still really like this one. 
And I also like the texture behind the ink. Like I love how you can see these ink strokes. And I do need to find a brush like this for me to start using like, you know, just in every day. Cause I wanna, I wanna get back to doing casual inkings like this without the pressure of like making it for homework and stuff like that. Cause I'll discuss this in a later video. But it's interesting to see how my art has changed from the influences of work and homework. So let's see, we have more ink, as I discussed. Um, this was a dude that I drew. Um, yeah, he was just a reference. I also like how there are no guidelines on this. I think that that makes it really clean and crisp. I think that's one of the cool parts of looking at these ink drawings is it's just blank and i think actually oh my god in my my current studies because i actually have to go study more after this i'm done filming this but i think i might try doing something similar to this but i like how messy the hair is i like the composition behind it and how the guy is just looking at you and like the eyes kind of follow but ink and the texture of this i really like that texture so this is more ink that's supposed to be dr frankenfurter and it's just sketchy ink and me kind of doing the thing i also i like that shoulder i like the position of it i wish i could have like made the body feel more angular because it already feels a bit angular the face I, I want to ignore that, but I think it's cool without it, but. And this is, I believe, going to be the last page of ink that I get into. Um, I really, mm, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I mean, I like the line work, but it just, you can feel the frustration. I think that's what the big summary of all this is, is you can tell I'm frustrated. You can tell I'm a little fed up with my work, but hey, it, it happens. It happens to the best of us. And again, like why I like showcasing stuff like this is to show like you can, you can go through rough patches, you can go through changes, you can go through like not knowing how you feel in your art or feeling unsatisfied with it, but it's a part of the process and you'll just, you have to get through it. You have to pull it through. You just have to keep on going. And I've been saying this, like this has been a thing in my mind for the past four years, but I mean, now I'm in art school. So it's, it's weird where it's like, keep on going. And it's like, wait, but, I, but I'm in a place artistically that I never thought I would be in, which is a good thing, but keep on going. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Well, I shouldn't apologize because this is my channel and I'm talking about art and y'all love when I talk about art or I mean, I, I at least think y'all do, but because I, I get a lot of views from the sketchbook videos. So it's, it's like my bread and butter, but <laughs> oh my God, art, I'm just constantly surrounded by art, constantly talking about art not a bad thing not a bad thing but like art and this is actually a sketch i did in my room i was like come on just go out there and draw force yourself to draw just get through that page which i don't recommend doing like sometimes you do have to force yourself to get through a page and keep on going especially when starting up again but don't overly force yourself because again you can see a lot of overly forcing like in the book and you can see like i can see it in my art i am not passionate my roommate just came in again but that that doesn't have to do with anything i'm i'm fine don't worry but yeah i can like it's weird to see now is i think it's strange to look at my sketchbooks back from the perspective of having like almost two months of our education, which I know that is nothing. That, like that's that's so little. It's like I'm like grasping this little like piece of art knowledge. But just from that alone, like I can tell in my art when I am not 
motivated, when I'm not satisfied, when I'm making marks that I'm not confident in. It's just, it's so strange to look back on this. Here, I, um, this one, here, you can, like, kind of see it through here. I'll show that one at another date. Um, that one was just a really personal thing that happened. Because I, I can talk on the matter, at least, but... Um, so mainly it was surrounding, I, you know, it's end of senior year. Well, this was not really like end of senior year, but it's, it's just about the end of senior year. And, um, I had, I had to do the typical confession before I go off to summer camp and art school. And so it was actually just me like stating my feelings to someone so I could get over them and have like a fun summer, not think about this and just like be done. It was, it was getting closure, which again, highly recommend getting closure. And it was just, it was a strange experience. It was strange plan planning it, but I'm happy that it's done. And I'm happy that it's a part of my story and that I got closure. Cause like, ooh, we'll we'll do another like see, this is this is like what I mean by the change the the change that I've seen in myself. And y'all will probably start to see with me over the course of this channel history, but I've I'm trying to become more confident with like stating my feelings to people. Like, um, I obviously stated my feelings to someone over the summer, and let's just say I had to call me by her name Summer, but I was of age. Like, that's, that's, that's the most that I can state, but, and then, like, when I got to school, like, I stated my feelings for someone else, and then I got closure because it was, it was a whole complicated thing, but we're friends now. All, all's good. It was like the first week crush that I'm so happy that I got over. But oh my god, if, if y'all want to know about my my romantic life right now, it's non-existent. But that's partially because of personal choice, partially because of not. But we'll just say, because y'all are like some random people on the internet who probably don't know me. But there is one person though there's one person a little questionable but one person but anyways there's a little oh my god there's a little romance information regarding the sketchbook see this is this is why i have so much fun making these videos is because i get to tell my stories like i get to tell the shit because it's depicted in my sketchbook like i get to talk about all this stuff because I get to be like, oh, I remember that time in my life when I did this thing, or this reflects about me doing this kind of art, or like this major life event, which that was, that was minor, but, and so, let's see, <laughs> oh my god, and another thing too is, over the summer, I did have someone look through my sketchbook a lot. And so it's funny to be like looking back through the sketchbook and hearing like the things that they've said to me about my sketchbook, all positive. But it's just funny because like I was looking at this piece and they just like when they look through my sketchbook, they're like, that person looks like they're on drugs. And I didn't really think that. I thought it was more like paranoia shit. But I'm like, yeah, I, I can see that now. But. <laughs> See, that's why it's, I think, I need to start using my sketchbook more. I've been only using my study book, but it just, again, it captures life and it captures memories. And so the memory captured was this fucking person saying that this person looks drugged off their ass. And I still think about it to this day, but not, it's not like I spent every mo waking moment thinking about it, but it's like. When I look through the sketchbook, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I remember something about that. But yeah, so it was just, I really, again, I really like that one, but just general framing shit. Me just kidding out of the way. But this, okay, this is a testing page for um, the pastels. Not the, pa 
yes, I think it's the pastels. Because they were the um, colored pencil pastels that I used to make a certain piece of art. Yeah, it's further down here. But this was the test page because I wanted to test the product out. I admit I didn't like, I didn't make too much art beforehand, but I just wanted to like test it before like I really dove into it because I wanted to make a good video. And so this was the one piece that I did make before the Bowie piece, again, being completely transparent with y'all. But I just, it was more, I got inspired at the time and then I was like, oh my God, I can make this thing. And so then I started making it and one thing led to another and then boom, art. Art, I love art. But I really like the colors looking back on it. Oh, I wish I had all of my art supplies because oh my God, I, I would kill to have like this stuff, to have my watercolors, to have all of that jazz. But I, I, I gotta make do with what I've got. I, I have to make do with this Blick Studio Acrylic Titanium White. This is all I've got. This is all I've got. <laughs> But I, oh my god, I just, I love how it looks. You know, the hand amount of me, a little off, but I just love how the colors look. And this See, this is me being frustrated more. I think it's funny, like, the little style I did with the spray can and shit, but it's just me being annoyed with my art and being like, what the hell am I doing? Now, see, this was from the actual video. And, yeah, I mean, I would recommend going and giving that video a watch if you haven't yet. I mean, it was a cool trial of a new material. And I think it, would, it definitely brought me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Like, especially, like, you can see with the blending and the way the pigment would pick up and, like, smudge on the paper. But... You can see that it kind of like has still pressed on over time despite being sealed but i would like i would recommend giving that video a watch and i also recommend trying new materials because who knows you can maybe dis discover a style like this and i do have to say that this colorful like scratchy style is more similar to the current style I have because color has been a new thing that I've adopted into my style rather than just like keeping sketches and only doing that. Okay. And so here we have um, more, I think this is thumbnails from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse because this is around the time that Spider-Verse got released. So I, I just like tried thumbnailing some of the scenes that I saw, like I, I would watch the um, trailer and I looked at the composition because I was feeling really art blocked and I saw someone talk about doing something like this. I actually, I think I need to do something like this um, in my future. Again, this is like, getting me inspired in so many ways because it's like there's so much that can be done with the simple composition and the poses and just again studying like how oh, just the composition I know I keep on saying composition over and over again oh yeah that um I think the context to that is yeah this is around the time i went to um actually no that maybe but this is around the time i went to a punk market flea no a punk flea market and um when i was walking back because i had just split up with my friends for a little bit because they were all under 18 but then i heard some people <laughs> talking about how i looked 
and they thought I was gonna attack them. So they were like being posed to fight me. And then I see my friend from across the street and I overhear them like obviously being like, oh my God, the person behind us is like, they kept on like glancing back at me and like staring at me weirdly. And then I see my friend across the street and like what? And they run over at me like from across the street. And I'm like, oh my God, Darla! <laughs> and the people just stared at me and they're like, what the hell? Which I, I think it's so funny. Like sometimes I get the comment of like, oh, you're so intimidating. Or like I was first intimidated by you. And I feel like that's solely based off of appearance, especially now since I have a shaved head. But again, the moment I start talking, sometimes it's just like, holy shit. Like, oh my God, <laughs> why would you think of that in the first place? Like just, just my tone of voice sometimes. Like, like, um, how dare you like oh my god i can never see you doing that or like some some shit like that like it's just funny as hell that people perceived me in this way and I, I don't know i have a hard time like understanding how people will perceive me and i just think it's funny like okay you think i'm scary like thank you for thinking i'm scary but also huh what at the same time what Okay, and then we have more Spider-Man pose practice, which ah, I need to do this because ah, I love dynamic poses. And one of the things that my art has been lacking recently is dynamic posing. Like, oh my God, ah, I wanna see more dynamic poses. I wanna like push that limit more. Like give me that dynamic art. Like, look at that. That is so dynamic. Like, uh, line of action, hell yeah, man, hell yeah. You can see more of it here too. And then let's see, we got Spider Punk, which I don't know um, who I referenced for this, but it was, I forget, I, I referenced some artists because I could not have come up with that on my own. But it's Hobie Brown, y'all. Oh my God, I mm, I love Spider Punk because this is okay. That's around the time of the year that the across the Spider-Verse happened. Oh my God, there we go. But oh, I mm, I love that movie. I love Hobie Brown. Oh my God, Spider Punk. And I know he doesn't like to be called Spider Punk, but Spider Punk. And this is also around the time that I like first started getting into punk music. I'm not like fully into it because I went from a track of post-punk goth into like semi-punk and slowly creeping in, but punk music, punk. which everybody around me thinks I'm a punk, but I'm like slowly transitioning to the punk. I'm not fully a punk, but I'm partially a punk. And then we got more David Bowie. And there was actually a self-portrait of me because at the time I had hair, as y'all probably know, I had hair. And it's so crazy that I had like this long ass shag and now I just have no fucking hair. It's all gone. It's all gone. Okay, I can share this one, but this is, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I find it very interesting that this gouache has transferred over onto the other side. Because normally I don't see cases like this, but this is around the time of prom and it's a little portrait that I did of the person. And that's the only context that I'm gonna give. Yay! But this is like, it's the um, expressive portrait style that I like to use which oof, I, I love the colors behind it. And I should start doing more stuff like this because oh my God, I, I absolutely love it. And then I'm not gonna show you the other side, but it's basically me writing about my feelings because I'm such an emo boy, but I do recommend writing sh about shit like that because it's just, it's helpful to keep track of your feelings and process them in an efficient manner. But yeah, here's a character I have. And this is some pants that I've actually made. Um, 
again they're finished which is it's the funny thing and they're like one of the only pairs of pants that i brought to school with me because it's not the winter yet as of time of filming it's only at fucking october but i put these striped star patches on the knees and on the ass i still have to do this part because i haven't i haven't had time to but i put it on the ass because i found oil paint on the ass and the oil paint kind of looked like shit but like literal shit so i just was like eh, you know what i probably shouldn't deal with that which oh my god speaking of which this looks like literal shit but this is an oil stick that i got yesterday that i was gonna experiment with and oh my god i can see why it belongs in the way shit like look this looks like shit and this was the um <sighs> burnt sienna one that i got but i mean this one it's good you can see that it's a good color but the other one it literally looked like i smeared shit across the page and so i just i stopped drawing for the night because i was like why the fuck does it look like shit why does it look like shit so this piece i was feeling a bit pent up some art block so i did my expressive style you know, more of my expressive style too. Oh, I love expressive art. And this is more people screaming too. Again, very expressive. And just another portrait. Oh my God, it's Tabitha. I miss, I miss my baby so much. I miss Tabby. But here's more like, I'm like, I need to modify my art style. I need to figure that out. Because you can tell, it, again, everything, it feels like it's always me being frustrated with my art. Which, that's all, that's a part of the process. It's just being fed up with your art. But, there's some facial studies. More art modification. Oh my god. It's so funny to see all of this. Oh my god, that, what is, what is going on with this neck? Genuinely. Like, what, what is going on with this? And then we have, here's some brainstorming for my graduation cap. I had my initial idea that I was going to do, oh yeah, another video promo. Um, if you want to go see about how I made my customize my graduation cap um yeah there, that's a video go view that um i recommend doing that if you if you're ever gonna make like a graduation cap or if you just want to see what i did but i think it's pretty cool and yeah it's art it's fucking art but my original idea was um some kind of like whole goodbye yellow brick road thing because fucking love elton john and yeah and it's it's an elton john song and you know goodbye yellow brick road where the dogs of society fall you can't take back me back to the penthouse i'm going back to the, my plow or whatever the fuck but anyway so i'm like leaving the place in which i was taken to and oh don't you dare fall phone um but there you go there's more thumbnailing behind it um again if you want to hear me talk more in depth about the process i recommend watching the video and this is me trying to work on a spider sona you can tell i'm frustrated but this is like i think after the spider-man movie yeah but there you go there is my spider spider sona and it has my jacket, my signature jacket, which actually I had a s significant less amount of pins and buttons on that jacket during that time, which, oh my God, eventually I'll have to do a jacket tour, but let's say I have over 50 pins on it right now. It's absolutely crazy but there's my little spider sona i might need to i want to develop it more but spider sona and ooh, more practicing art style changes 
This is me studying anatomy because I feel like I forgot f facial proportions, which is really funny that I'm like looking at this because I thought I just liked to be very proportionally accurate, but recently I've discovered one of my interests surrounding art is anatomy and like the anatomical levels of the human face and the physical anatomy behind it. So I've been like looking at anatomy books and studying anatomy and incorporating them into my art and also like figuring out muscles and all that shit. But yeah, I, I just thought for a while, I just thought I really wanted to get better at art, but no, I love anatomy, which is, it's strange to say, cause a lot of artists are known as like, oh, I hate studying anatomy, but it's something I have to do. But I, I don't know, it's absolutely fascinating to like study anatomy and further it more, like to further the understanding of human proportions and facial features and being able to discern different people's facial features based off of that. Well, from that whole little rant, you can tell that I really love portraiture and that's what I've been working on recently. Like, I literally had my art professor be like, oh my god, you should work on more portraits. Because <laughs> if I thought I was in an abstraction class, but it turns out I was in just like a general class. So <laughs> I did some abstract art, but <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what are you to do with art school? But there's um, another depiction is of me. It's just me with my short hair because at the time I just cut my short hair. Short hair looked a little janky, but you know, it's a part of like the first short haircut that I did in the bathroom with the online help of Laddie at 3 a.m. But it was so much fun and I wouldn't trade it for the world, honestly. I would not. And then, ooh, we got more Bowie. Okay, that one, Ashes to Ashes. This one, uh, I think it might be Station to Station Bowie. No, no. Mm. Uh, I don't know, it could, it could be Bowie afterwards, like 80s Bowie, but I don't know. He looks like he's doing his weird old thing, which actually I listened to Station is Station to Station again while studying in the library today, and oh my god, it was so good! Ah, I I'm like obsessed with like that kind of like soundscape music experimental shit right now. Like, mmm, so good! Like fucking craft work and David Bowie hit hard, man. But and of course is Aladdin Sane, as y'all know. But this is, I absolutely love this piece. And this is of Brian May. And oh my God, guys, I am going to go see Queen in concert in less than two weeks. And I'm so fucking excited. I'm going by myself on Halloween to go see Queen. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's Queen. Like, I know that Freddie Mercury is dead and I'm so sad that he's dead, but at least I get to see Queen once in my life and I get to, when I'm older, I'll be able to be like, yeah, guys, when I was in college, I was a silly little college first year. I went and saw a Queen by myself and I, I wanna have like some crazy story surrounding him, but you know, I gotta make that story first. I, I gotta have the story. But I, I love Brian May and oh, I'm so excited. I should, I need to draw more Queen. I need to draw more of the members before I go. Like, ah, ah. but you know, it would be too powerful if I ever saw Freddie Mercury live. I literally, I would probably die or some shit if I saw him. Here's character that I have. I don't want to talk about it more because developments um here's me just playing around i love spiked hair and spiky hair um so i actually am growing out my hair in a way so i can try to spike it in the future we're gonna see how that goes because i have straight hair but not straight hair curly hair but you know i i can at least try 
but I love hair spikes. And so now we're coming into the era of art where I obviously went to summer camp. This was after, oh my God, I stockpiled so much content for the summer for y'all, which I would probably, I would do that again. I think that helped as I went off to summer camp, like to just have some content. And I, I like to provide content for my friends in that sense. But so what I would do is I had staff training for the first two weeks and at night I would stay up, you know, hang out and talk to some people, but then everybody would go to sleep and it would be me staying up for hours on end by myself, just drawing or just like listening to music. Because so what happened was for the first two weeks, I had really bad sleep problems. So sometimes I wouldn't get to sleep until three or four and I had to get up at seven. So I was absolutely dying, but, and I also had really bad nightmare issues, but God, I'm so happy I don't have nightmares like that anymore. That's a whole nother story to get into. But, and so when I was sitting alone and we called it the chalet, it was the dining hall and they also had like bunk rooms and stuff like that for the staff to use. But we had, um, so we also had this really creepy laundry room that was in the basement. And so I would joke a lot and I would be like, oh my God, guys, we're having a slasher summer. Like this is a perfect place for a horror movie to take place. And so, and it was the whole resurgence of slasher summer on TikTok. And so I would just walk around, walk around like listening to like typical 80s music, like I had slasher summer playlist. And I just love that shit. Like, oh, I have, I have videos of me like going down into the laundry room at night by myself, like scared shitless because I thought I was gonna get killed. But, and so I just wanted to draw a slasher summer dude. Okay, and this is, this is more sketching Juneteenth. <laughs> so funny context behind this, but so there was another, girl at the summer camp I worked at. Um, I won't tell you guys where, but I was at a Girl Scout summer camp. Oh no, that's why I had the, my camp name was Bowie, which you might see some other times throughout this. But, and so she would always carry around her sketchbook and then a certain person that I liked wanted to see her sketchbook. And I don't, I, I try not to be mean with art, but oh my God, her art, genuinely scared me like it scared me and so I just tried to draw some of the things that she would draw and I was also maybe maybe a little jealous that that certain person was talking to her and I was just sitting right there with a sketchbook too and I'm like honey I have a sketchbook too like you can talk to me which I later found out they sniffed my gouache palette <laughs> It's so fucking funny. But yeah, because I left, I would leave it out sometimes, like during staff training. And they like apparently came up and sniffed it when I wasn't using it. They're like, that's cheap paint. And I'm like, what What do you, the fuck do you think I'm going to use? Like, what? <laughs> and it's funny because I, I use a different gouache palette for my art now. And it, it's so funny. Like, and I've made some really good art out of like fucking cheap materials. Like no way in hell am I gonna invest my money into something that's super pricey that I'm gonna be scared to use. Okay. And then, yeah, there's more. The, see, this is when I was going crazy. Um, I like really got paranoid and I would start to see shit and that wouldn't be a fun time. And there's me trying to draw Hopi Brown. Oh my God. But okay, so here's me sketching out this, but I'll, I'll give context for this. But okay, so this is um, the piece that I call Let Sleeping Dogs Lie. So context behind this, um, but at summer camp, um, the food there was extremely bland, like, one time we were literally served chicken 
and that was it just like plain chicken breast and like maybe some green beans and I hate that I, I love food with flavoring I love that kind of stuff I was like freaking out and then one of my friends was also freaking out too her camp name was spicy but and so what we did was I was one of the only people there with a car so one night I literally said I said to like everyone I'm like okay I'm gonna run to Walmart like does anybody else want to come and some people wanted to come at first but they're like no no we got to do stuff so me and spicy went to Walmart at like 10 o'clock at night and we like snuck back into camp at like 12 o'clock at night and it was oh my god it was so much fun I remember like running around Walmart and um getting sriracha and I remember we both stood in like the bathroom it was 1 a.m we were tired as hell but we drank hot sauce because we were so deprived of flavoring oh my god it was so much fun and it was so funny and I actually still have the similar kind of hot sauce in my fridge right now that someone actually gave to me right before I left camp and that, that hot sauce is just it's associated with so many memories but and so this the context for this is when we were coming back we like walked back because I had to park my car in the field but so we stopped to use the bathroom house and then like there was a bird in it and the bird was like dying and we could tell that it was dying but I was like oh should we tell someone about it and then Spicy was like oh probably shouldn't just because they would know that we left and she said to me let sleeping dogs lie and I was like oh my god this inspired a piece for me <gasps> oh my god so yeah I really like the piece and a lot of people would come up and be like oh my god I love what you're drawing and stuff like that and the certain persons like noticed that I was doing this. And this was actually when I was drawing, when I was hanging out with them. It was, this is another specific memory, but, um, cause I, they were making hot chocolate for everyone. And then they like were talking to me and I don't know, like, I don't even know what we were talking about, but they're like, well, I'm not gonna make you a hot chocolate. And then like they eventually made me one because they were like, oh, fine, I'll have to make you a hot chocolate in a specific way. But, and so like we were talking about milk cartons because I, oh, I drank so much chocolate milk this summer. I would drink it like every night because we had so much chocolate milk. But I thought it would be cool to like draw on a milk carton sometime. And so this, is um these are the drawings that i did of the laundry room and i would spend hours in there because i would just go with a certain someone and we would just sit in the laundry room and just talk and do laundry and sometimes i would even find excuses to do laundry or i would what i would say is i would say to other people like as I was like sneaking off to do stuff, I would be like, I can do your laundry for you. And the laundry room just became a really nice place. And ever since I've really liked laundry rooms and just the smell of laundry and the sound of it. I also think it's fun like when they're warm too, like ugh, a solid warm laundry room at night. Like you can't go wrong with that shit. But so this, um, I, it's a piece I eventually want to make a bigger piece but um let's just say there was a situation and I ended up leaving a half open bottle of vodka in the woods that will be another fucking story for another day but that is funny as hell like this whole situation but we had to I literally like I had to I I was the getaway driver and we literally had to dump a bottle of vodka in the woods just like leave it there and I, the image is ingrained in my mind because I never got to get a photo of it but I just remember hearing go 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 
has the model was like placed in the woods and just driving like i was driving too fast for like a 15 mile 50 mile per hour road and it was funny as hell it was funny as hell and so sometimes like randomly i'll like i'll make reference i'll be like yeah vodka in the woods the vodka in the woods guys oh this is a self-portrait of me that i did on my break because that one of the only times I actually got to draw was on my break and so sometimes I would just bring my sketchbook down to be with myself and this is the person um at grocery store when we were getting um some alcohol but yeah and there that's my hat that's my fucking hat because okay so the weekends stuff went down um they took my Bass Pro Shop hat after at the grocery store because they were joking like, oh, I'm so American, like all that kind of shit because they're British, they're British. But, and so I was like, the hat got lost in the night as we were all like messing around. And, um, I literally lost that hat for a while and my mom like randomly found it out of nowhere. I'm like, oh my God, that's where my Bass Pro Shop hat went. And so I stole their cowboy hat, which was actually my cowboy hat. But, and I would just be like, yeah, if you, if you can't find my Bass Pro Shop hat, then I get the cowboy hat back. Cause also I was a lifeguard. And so I literally needed the hat. It wasn't like a funny, oh, you need the hat. It was like a, holy shit. I need the hat so I can see and stay sane during the summer. But um, here's more David Bowie um, sketches. I heard people outside, but. And so um, this was around the time I saw Barbie. Oh my God. This is so exciting, but so that was a little um, made up system that we created. Um, I, again, I, I would spend a lot of time staying up really late at night and like hanging out in the chalet. So yeah, I just went and we'd talk about stuff and I would just draw and do shit like that. And then I had a big gap in time because things got, bit overwhelming um oh yeah i actually around this time as you can see this was a little sketch i did but um so i cut i dyed my hair and then i had my friend scorpion cut it and then soon after um the person um shaved part of my head in <laughs> the men's bathroom at like 1 a.m and they gave me the clippers. So that's how I got a shaved head. But for a while I had like a little bit of a mohawk kind of going. It first started out as a mullet, but then I like mulleted too close to the sun and got a fucking mohawk. But, and then here's, this is like another um, sketch that I did and um the campers would joke and they would say that i sound like a drill sergeant and a rock star because they would like they did a thing where like they would i don't know they would make different like noises and like um sing different voices and styles just for fun and the one that sounded closest to bowie was rock star and drill sergeant and i'm like thanks guys thank you for calling me a drill sergeant but also to be fair i was like a drill sergeant sometimes because i would just be like Okay, time to get in the water. Line up, stay, do not cross the dock. That's also because I was a lifeguard. Like, I can't be like, do not enter the water until I'm on the dock. That's also because if I got caught with a kid in the water, you know, camp could get shut down because we had an inspector that was supposed to be coming. And then <laughs> camp would get shut down, a bunch of shit would happen, I would get in trouble. Ugh. It's best to be drill sergeant but um and here's um here's 
another gala drew you can see i actually really started to get into the frosted tips around this time that's why i really want to get them scooby-doo spooky island oh my god i love that movie it's so good but and so more sketches and yeah oh yeah i remember campers saying that they were dinosexual and I just remember staring at them being like, okay. Because I worked with the 10 through 16 year olds ma mainly, like that they were in my unit the most part. I did have, like, I worked with everyone, of course, at the waterfront because I was a lifeguard and I was the boating instructor. But I would hear so much stuff that was said. Oh my God. There was just so much and it was so funny, but sometimes I would be like, what the hell? Actually, I think the craziest story that I got coming out of that was, well, not, it's not my story. It's a story to pass on. I have so many stories, of course, from that summer. But so my friend here, who's in the kitchen, he was, um, he was like doing something during a rainy day and like helping out, like, you know, doing dishes. And then he walked by a kid on his time off and he saw a kid drawing tentacle hentai and they were 14. And I knew the exact kid that drew tentacle hentai. Oh my God, so strange. And then here are my friends, Belle and Narwhal. And I worked at the waterfront with them. I spent most of my time with them. And I love them so much and I miss them. And here's a quote that they said where they were like, the person where they're like, I like to say slay in the same way as a gay man would. Like, yes, honey. Yes, of course you would say that. Um, I don't know what I said. I accidentally skipped a page. Oh yeah, I did accidentally skip the page. Um, again, more guys with spiky hair, which is funny because I have spiky hair right now. <laughs> it's so funny to see how excited I was for spiky hair when I have that now. And here's some drawings of the, the campers did of me. And yeah, because they would always, they like to see my sketchbook. I, would, I have to censor it for them too. But I thought it was funny how they like to look through my sketchbook and I'm like, little do you know guys, little do you know I'm a YouTuber who does sketchbook tours sometimes. It was so fucking funny. I was like, yeah, hmm. You, you don't think I have experience with showing off my sketchbooks? <laughs> I, even, I, I think I rem like, remember like kid talking about YouTube and like YouTubers and I was like, because eh. I don't consider myself like a YouTuber YouTuber, like a professional one. Like I'm an amateur YouTuber, but I like to do my silly little sketchbook tours. And it's, it's funny as hell. And these were two campers that I drew. Um, yeah. And because I, I like to draw people like that. And I was like, hey, if you're going to draw me, I'll draw you then. And then here's something that my friend Belle drew. Because we were just like playing around. And I think this was the time. It was right before camp ended. And we were a bit miserable. And then here's the tracing of our hands that we colored in. And yeah, I was waiting for roommate assignments and here's a sketch. That's a sketch I did of a camper in the morning. They walked around with like a blanket, like their cape. So I got a little inspired by it and I didn't want to tell them because I'm like, I don't know, it's, it's a little awkward to be like, yeah, I got inspired by you, but they're one of my favorite campers, but is that again? Okay. So, um, here, I'm just going to skip over this because there are too many things that I would have to censor and I don't want to do that right now. But here's another quick Bowie. Oh my god! Okay, this is more of a self-portrait of myself. Yeah, a self-portrait of myself. Hmm, pretty self-explanatory. But, <laughs> oh my god. It was just me looking at my face. Here's more, more practice. And so this was a, a little study that I did um, just of, it really just was like of the landscape and composition. And 
I love looking at it because it captured a moment in time. And I, I, I love doing art like that. I think that's one of my biggest parts, like the biggest thing I love to do in art is just capture life as it happens. And there's an old self-portrait of me. And I was like, I was really feeling it. And I, I like, I just need to do something different. And I love how the face turned out. I love how it looks unfinished. And it is unfinished, but I love how painterly it looks. And this is another thing that I did of the, that's not the farmhouse, that was the troop house. And then, yeah. And it was the last time that I was at the waterfront, starting to get a little sentimental. Here's like piece that I never really did. Um, and here's just some more stuff that I can't quite show because it's campers faces. And I promised that I would never show them on the internet. And I'm not, I don't want, I like to keep my promises. I don't want to post them on social media. There's, oh, I'm leaving camp. Life goes on. Because life really went on after this. Here's some more studies. And some people said that they wanted me to draw them. It's too bad that I never ended up drawing them. But, um, who knows? I might, I could draw them in the future. Shit happens. There's some more studies. I was looking at the plants. And then it inspired me to, like, design these pants and work on that. There's a suitcase that I actually found that's here with me in college right now at a dump store. And I cleaned it out and I let it sit outside for two weeks because it smelled like old cigarettes. And I just love it. Like, my mom always says that I can throw it away. But I love the idea of using something else, like that old suitcase that someone else has been using to travel. And I, like, I, I get a little overwhelmed with, like, a giant smell of cigarettes, but if it's slightly smelling like cigarettes, like, ooh, that can be such a good smell sometimes. Um, what's this? Um, oh, this is, like, just me drawing some things in my room from the state that I got back. I got back to my room and it literally was like falling apart and it made me sad because my room basically died which it's what happens life goes on I go off to college my room isn't my room anymore someone else is living in it right now but hey shit happens and then cowboy pants which I actually have the cowboy pants made and oh my god I love the cowboy pants they're too big for me but they they work I love the cowboy pants and so here's more of the cowboy man that so this is hard to censor but that's a drawing that the person did of me and yeah and then there we go there we go. I properly censored. But, um, yeah, that was... Here, I'll just flip to this next page so it's easier for me. But that was when I went and visited them. Um, right before they left for England. Um, yeah. It's, it's a whole story. <laughs> I, again, it's a whole story. Mo ma major motion picture coming out soon of it. JK, JK. This. But... And yeah, we went to um art museum together and when they like offered to buy me like a cookie and like tea and shit and we were just sitting in a cafe eating <laughs> cookies at this fancy ass art museum and they and I had personal very personal phone call going on and they just drew me. And yeah, I, I only have two drawings they made of me, but <sighs> I fall for artists. Well, it's a good thing I'm at art school then, but I fall for artists. And here's me drawing people with shaved heads because I had a shaved head. I had a shaved head and I still really like that one. And the funny thing about that one is I also had stars on my head at some point and I love the stars on my head. That was so much fun. I wish I could do that again, but again, I'm going for frosted tips now. I want the frosted tips. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And this is just another painting that I did. 
gouache. I was feeling a bit sad, so, you know, sad painting. I can tell that the nose anatomy is off. And this is just a random guy that I sketched on the street. He, like, kind of gave me this really weird look on the sidewalk. And th these are some more things that I did while exploring the city. I thought it was really interesting. I walked past the park, and it was literally a strip of grass that said private property. And it just, it felt so weird. It felt so off. And I was like, fuck capitalism, man. Fuck capitalism. And we have some more sketches. Feeling a bit uninspired. Um, we got some sexy robots inspired by, oh, I forgot the artist's name. Should be in somewhere in here, but there's my own version of it. Sexy robots. Love some sexy robots. And here's me messing around with some, what's it called? Oil pastels. More oil pastels. These were the um, Venus flytraps that I had that died. Um, here's, this is from a Frankenstein ballet thing. But here's like the face sketched out more. This is what I eventually made into that YouTube video. Um, if y'all want to hear more about this piece, I recommend watching me try out oil pastels. Highly recommend. But these were like the several phases it went through. But I... I absolutely love it. I love the color behind the gouache. Oh, I love the streakiness of it. Oh my God, I love it. But this is like more of my modern art, but there's not like coherent, like consistent art in here. There's more facial practice, more facial practice. I know I'm not talking too much about this stuff, but I felt really uninspired. And so I'm like, I don't want to linger on it too much. I would rather tell this fun stories of all the shit I got into in the summer. Who knows, maybe I'll, I'll tell y'all eventually about all the shit I did, all the chocolate milk I drank. But story for another day, story for another day. It's the 21st night of September. Oh my God, more blue art. You can see I'm starting to understand facial anatomy a little more. I look too round in that though, but I blame it on the reference photo I used. Oh my god, it's a little clown pirouette thing, which I'm trying to embroider, but I kind of took an indefinite break from that. Here's more sketching. Oh, and here's me studying a shit ton of anatomy after my art looked like that one night, and I got really fed up with it. So yeah, here's me studying facial anatomy. Here's me doing an art study of... I think it's Pepita Jester on TikTok. Um, there's me doing a study of JC Leindecker, um, infamously queer artist. Um, I wanna study him more. And Bowie, and I did this recently, but this is for um, a AU that I have with a friend from the school. And the last thing is just a really personal note, so we'll end it on here. But, so that is my sketchbook. Um, as you can tell, I'm starting to get into more, like, cyborg, cyberpunk kind of stuff. But, yeah, that's my art. And that's the summer I had. There's, like, a better explanation behind it. But, yeah. I thought it was really fun. I would do it again in a heartbeat, but I'm ready to have new stories. Cause you know, I don't know. I want to like kind of live that life where I have like this, just this whole collective of these really wild stories. And I don't want all of them to be the same. Like I want to discover them in new and different ways, but I'm, I'm ready for the next one, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this long ass video because I know my voice is hurting. Um, time of recording, it's 9.14. I'm doing this really fucking early and then I'm gonna edit the hell out of this shit, which literally means me probably chopping out two minutes and then y'all will see it tomorrow, which is exciting. Yeah, um, let's see, exciting things to look for to me. Um, I don't know what content I have planned for the future. Maybe some new sketchbook stuff. We'll see. I don't know. I've been very busy. 
um because i have a research project that is due on monday for my midterm and i'm so excited about the project it's just taking a little bit of time and it takes a lot of thought to it but yeah i'm excited to showcase more of my art in the future i'm excited to talk about that more and I would like to say thank you guys for watching. And it says 95% of you aren't subscribed. So please consider subscribing. And hit that like button too. Again, make sure to comment on the art, my art or any of the stories that you liked. Because I got this was more of like a story time sketchbook. I know, I know it's like the, the old YouTubers back in the days. But story time sketchbook. But... Who knows? Maybe maybe I'll do some story time content. I, I got some shit worked up in here after the life that I've been having. But yeah, every every day is like a new story. But thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all soon. Bye!